everybody. Welcome back to Ruby Moss Cottage. It is a yurt cast high up in the Great Smoky Mountains. First things first, do you have your cuppa? If you do, then let's get started. Oh, it feels so good to be back up here on the mountain, sharing our lives with you. We've been gone for like three weeks, and finally we are back to our mountaintop of rest. I've been foraging the mountain, looking for red clover and dandelion, and trying my hand at making some teas. It's an experience I'm really enjoying. Going to the rivers, watching the boating, the kayaks, the tubes, the floats, sipping our coffee, reading our book, people watching, just living the slow life. And then back on the mountain, in the peace of the flowers, blowing in the wind, taking our walks, working around the yurt, and all the crofting. Having been gone for so long, I can truly say, slow life, yurt life, is the best life. It's been a minute since I've recorded. Uh, a lot has been going on in my simple little life. I think the last time I recorded, I was getting ready to go to Charlotte to spend with my family for, was it was my mother's birthday, my mother's 83rd birthday. And that was such fun. Oh, I just love spending time with my mom. And we had this big surprise party for her. She didn't know it about. And um, she didn't put it together. She knew us three girls were coming over to celebrate, but she didn't put it that the whole family was coming until the grand, the grand, all the grand, all of her grandchildren are grown. And so they began to trickle in one by one. And after about the third one showed up, she began to put it together. So that was a lot of fun. She had a really um, rough childhood and I don't think she had her first birthday party until she was in her 50s and we threw her a surprise birthday party. And I remember her saying, I've never had a birthday party before. Broke my heart. So every now and then we just try to surprise her. We don't do it every year because then it wouldn't be a surprise. But we got her good this year. And she was on the phone all weekend long talking to all of her friends, telling her how wonderful her daughters were. Welcome. Let me say hello to all of the new subscribers. Thank you. I'm glad that you've joined and just make yourself at home. Um, 
it has been a little while. So I am going to be easing back into this. My hair is in my eyes and I can't get it out. I have no hairspray. Um, my back is hurting, so I'm all propped up with pillows here. I've done something, and I think it's our sofa because I've been gone for like three weeks. Other than a short, I went to Charlotte for a week and came home for like a short 20 hours. And then we flew off. I flew off with my husband. He was working out in Vegas, so I decided to go with him, flew with him, and my back didn't hurt at all. Then we got back, and after a couple of days, my back started hurting again. And so I think it's the sofa. I don't know. It's it's just a sofa that we picked up at Habitat when we moved up here. We went, we popped in there and bought it, and it looks pretty, but it's not the most comfortable. So I am sitting here in our new little corner of the yurt that he has been working on. He put in these bookshelves for me and he put on the, in this wall that like, you go around this wall and it's the front door. And then my, my little slice of the pie, my little crofting nook is right there. And I was gonna record over there and I thought, oh, I'll just record in this new little section um, just so that you can see what it's about. And maybe I'll take a video of it or put it in, insert a, a full shot of it a little later on. I think I was welcoming my new followers. Thank you. I'm so happy you're here. It is not a, an organized uh, YouTube channel. I will jump from squirrel to squirrel. I, I should say nut to nut, distraction to distraction. It is like... I've got notes today, but I can't promise I'm going to stick to the notes because I get to talking and one thing leads to another and I say a lot of so's and a lot of buts uh, and a lot of so much funs, but it's what you get when you don't get a polished uh, professional podcast, but I have a lot of fun. And I have a lot of great followers that have fun with me, that have fun with me. And I hope that you new viewers will be, will just jump right in, make yourself at home, and just know that you're among friends, that we are friends. My my yom is your yom. And um, that you'll stick around a while and talk about making and talk about books and all that good stuff. Let me see. Speaking of subscribers, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, please hit the little subscribe button. Uh, I, it, I know it's not about numbers per se, but the truth of the matter is, it's encouraging when I go on my channel to, to do to check my analytics and the updates and stuff to see that my subscribe my subscriber number it has gone up because that's encouraging that's a form of encouragement so if you're a watcher and you want to subscribe i would appreciate it it also tells youtube the kind of podcast that you like to watch and so podcasts that are like mine will show up in your feed. And so it's easier for you to find newer podcasts that way. So it's all about the algorithms nowadays. But I don't really, I don't know how to grow my channel other than I just record. I have had people reach out to me and say they will be my promoter and they will make sure I get all the not notices that I need and blah, blah, blah. I don't have the money to pay them. I'm not, I, I, just, I don't have that knowledge and I can't pay to have that knowledge. So I depend on you to get the word of mouth out there so that my community to grow and that I stay encouraged to do this. I, I love our communication chat in the comments below because I love that. When I see a comment pop up, I get all excited. It's just such fun to know there's people actually out there 
watching and relating and enjoying what I do. And it is fun, but it is work too. So saying all of that, please, please subscribe, hit the thumbs up and message me below. If there's something you want to see, I'm thinking about doing a Q&A with my husband. So if there is anything that you would like to know, a question that you would like answered, pop the question below or pop it to me on Instagram in my um, in DM me there. Um, I am Ruby Moss Cottage on Instagram. And um, so you feel free to message me there or leave a comment below. And I'll, we'll we'll work on the Q and A together, and I'll have a I'll do a short uh, recording of the two of us answering your questions. If you think that's something that you would like, I know your life is a unique life. It is definitely a different lifestyle. It's not for everybody, but it's intriguing, and I know people have a lot of questions. I get them a lot. Uh, I guess I should I should have been keeping track of the questions that I have been asked and have answered. Uh, but yeah, I thought, I just thought that this morning, I thought that would be fun if Todd and I did a Q&A one day and um, answer some of your questions about your life or about my, any questions about not only your life, mountain life, what all, what all there is to do around here. And it is tons. The season is opened up now and there are Oh, so much, there's just so much going on. Or if it's about crafting or whatever, um, yeah, just pop, pop me a question and we will add it. We'll do a segment on it. I also want to talk about uh, the and with an email. Get that. I want to talk about that before we get into all of the making. I hope this isn't going to be too long of a podcast because it's been like four or five weeks since I've recorded. I've got piles of stuff here and I may decide at some point as the minutes tick that I just don't have time and cut it off and maybe do a, do another one sooner. But um, the and with an email is based on the Netflix series or the books that you've read. Um, anything you're doing for the and with an email, make sure that you use the hashtag and with an email on Instagram because that's where I'm drawing from the prizes and I'm going to give one prize away today. This is a prize giving away episode. I've got, I'm going to announce one of the giveaways on Instagram and then I've got three prizes to give away from the co the questions that were asked from the last podcast. And then I'm going to go ahead and give one, a w one of the prizes that has come in for the end with an email. I'm going to give that away. But speaking of the end with an email, it is a year long make along. So, you know, if you, I've had people say, I just don't have the time. Well, you have till December 31st and Anything that has to do with that era, anything that you see on the show, and there's so many beautiful makes on that show, but anything you see there, make it. Make it your own. Anything, quilting, needlework, baking, anything that you think is that, that goes with that era, enter it with and with an email, and that's where I'll be draw, drawing prizes from that hashtag, and follow along that hashtag if you wish to see what other people are making. There are some really good projects going on, and um, I think you'll enjoy looking at that as well. So, I've had some prizes trickling in for the and with an email. One of them is this. Now, this will be given away today, uh, but I went to Norway, with Lori and she has, she owns, um, chicken wood soaps. And so she has sent, I'm going to show you her business card first. It's chicken wood soaps and do not look at those nasty nails. Oh my goodness. I need to paint them, but this is chicken wood studio. I said chicken wood soaps. It's chicken wood studio. And I tell you what, she gave us some products when we were in Norway. They are the absolute best. I have used the, the hand um, lotion bar. It's not, I guess it will be a lotion bar. I'm, I'm out of it now, but it is so wonderful. So she sent a lotion bar 
And this was what she gave us when we were in Norway. I don't think she, it was this scent. I think I have some glasses here. And I will tell you the scent that this is. But this is, um, no, I won't. Well, organic refined coconut oil, beeswax, shea butter, and essential oils. But I don't know what essential oil. And I cannot tell by the smell. Maybe lavender. I'm not sure. But it smells amazing. And I can promise you, you're going to love this lotion bar. So this is the lotion bar. And then she sent some wool wash. And this would be for your woolens that you make. And then she sent, um, this is a lemon mint lip balm. She makes all of this herself. It's all organic. And um, she has, I'm going to put all of her information in the description below because you will love Lori's work. She is stateside. And um, so that prize will be going out to date. Thank you so much, Lori, for uh, giving and donating to this giveaway because I think I've told you all before, I want to give you a lot, but I can't afford to give a lot. So anybody, any makers out there that want to get their name out there, I'll be happy to promote for you if you would sponsor this giveaway for the rest of the year. I have some bags coming in. Some bag makers have reached out to me. And then I have something else here to show you um, that has come in. But this from Chickenwood Studio, those products, I would swear by, they are amazing. Laurie also sent me some wool wash, so I haven't used it yet, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to using that. I've always used the liquid, so I'm, I'm really curious to see how this bar wool wash works up. But I'm going to go ahead and tell you now who the lucky winner is for, for this little um, gift from Chickenwood Studio, and it is Dingle Kringle on Instagram. That's your handle, and Mary Ann. So, Mary Ann, if you will message me on Instagram and give me your address, I will send you this little package of goodies from Chickenwood Studio to you, and if I remember right, Mary Ann made this vest that was her version of Matthew's vest. It is so cute. You've got to go to the hashtag and with an email and look at that. She did an amazing job. So, yes, Mary Ann, if you will get your information to me, I will send this wonderful prize out to you. So, let me show you one other prize that has come in so far. And I say this... I am going to be so sad if when I get all this done and recorded, I find another prize that has come in and I failed to mention it. So if you have sent something and I failed to mention it, please message me and let me know and please accept my apologies because it's still here. I've got it. I just need to come across it again. I am most grateful for everything that has been sent in. But this lady, Anne sent this uh, shawl that she made. And I want to see, she is so, so talented. She sends cards and I know, I'm, I feel sure she's made these cards, but look at these, the mountain scenes, so beautiful. And I wanna see if um, she gives the name of the shawl pattern that she, she knit. Uh, She doesn't tell me the name of the shawl. And I feel like, I feel like she has told me that. And I feel like I am neglecting. Okay, there is more to this card. I just need to, there we go. They live in a small farm in Nebraska. They have sheep, chickens, rabbits, cats, and dogs, a horse, and three teenage daughters. So she does not um, tell me um, 
She does not tell me the name of the shawl, but she has told me that before. And I will, I will have to look that up. But anyway, she made this gorgeous shawl. I mean, I cannot believe she donated this. But look at this. Is this not something that you would see Marilla? I want to make sure I have this. This is the way. This looks like something Marilla would wear. It is in the color that Marilla would wear. This shawl is stunning. And there, I was going to say, and I will get my act together. But just look at that. Look at the lace work. Can you see that? It's so pretty. This is something, oh my gosh. This is something that I could keep. <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm going to see that one of you gets this. But that is a giveaway. And what a generous giveaway. And that is just so kind. Her name is Ann Albro, and she is on um, she is on uh, Instagram. And then she sent me another card. I, I don't know if it was I was a ways, and when I came back, it was in the mail. But she sent me what this? She said she forgot to add it to the package, and I just. It's so, so adorable. It's, um, well, there's a, there's a stitch marker, but then there's this beautiful pom-pom. Look at that. I love pom-poms. I'm crazy about them. So that couldn't be a stitch marker. I'm not sure I'm going to use it as a stitch marker. I may put it on something. I like to decorate with pom-poms and such. But thank you, Anne. That was just so, so sweet of you. And this is from, she told me who made this, Market on Etsy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I might be wrong on that. This marker does such a, this maker does such a sweet job of packaging. I learned about her tassels through the Prickly Owl Company in bags. So, Market, the market shop on Etsy is the maker of, I'm sorry, this beautiful tassel. And I, this, if this is how it was packaged, th yes, it is. She does a beautiful job of packaging. I love promoting makers. And I hope that you love supporting makers because, you know, it's a, it's a lot of work and a lot of detail, and it's always so special and unique. And you might pay a little more, but wow, the time that they put into it, it's worth it. So check these makers out. I'll put everything in the shot in the show notes below. But Anne, thank you for this. I'm not giving this away today. This will be given away a little later. Um, but that is a you know what? Wouldn't that make a pretty skirt? I mean, it would have to be longer for me, of course, but that is beautiful. Beautiful. So, such kind, generous people. And like I say, I've had others reach out that want to help. So, I appreciate all of that. That is prizes for the end with an email that have come in. Then I'm going to um, donate some. And it is so hot because I can't turn the air on because it's kind of loud. And it comes through really loud on this. So, I know when my husband gets home, he's going to think it's an oven in here. And he's right, it is. But the things you do for your viewers, all right. Let's, you know what I'm going to do really quickly. The last show, the last show, the last um, yurt cast, I asked three questions. And I said I was going to give away three prizes to followers because I am big into the reuse, recycle, repurpose. As you know, that's what my B 
business I See Flowers is all about. I recycle, repurpose old Afghans that I rescue from Goodwill, from yard sales, from thrift stores, and I make things from them. So I have been cleaning out, and, I, and when you live in a yurt, you only have but so much space. And through the years, I have collected quite a lot. Now, I have passed a lot of it on to friends. I've passed a lot on to my sister. I've, I've just, I have given a lot away, but I still had a lot of bags and a lot of yarn and things. So I thought, you know what? I have got to, I've got to gift these to someone else so that I will, I will feel good about re reusing, regifting, and repurposing. And then someone else will have something that they, they will enjoy making. So I asked three questions. One, what am I using for my pot rack in the kitchen? People correctly said an old ladder. I asked, do I like the sound of rain on the yurt roof, which is a canvas roof? And you, so many said you absolutely love the sound of, your, of rain on your yurt roof. Correct. And then I asked the question, what are you making for the end with an email? And I had so many responses to that. So I randomly drew three winners. And the first one is, and I don't know if you're on Instagram. So if you are, you could reach out to me there and give me your address. Um, the first one is Dawn Overholt. Dawn let me show you what you've won. You've won this bag. Isn't this adorable? It's by Hook and Gage. Then I've also included, make sure there's nothing else left in there. I've also included two skeins of this yarn. One is from, I need my glasses. One is from Songbird. Okay. Songbird must be the colorway. It's a limited edition. It's from Fiber Story. And then this is from Vesper Sock Yarns, and it's called Frog Pond. So these yarns and this bag are now yours, Dawn. And I hope that you will make something beautiful with it and then send me a picture. But first, send me your address so that I can get this sent out in the mail to you. A-S-A-P. Then I have another winner is Traveling Pearls. Now, I do know Traveling Pearls is on Instagram. She's actually a follower of mine. And so you have received this bag, beautiful feather bag. And I, I was going to say, I remember who made it. Girl, so she be. She does not make bags anymore, but... This, she made, she did awesome work when she was in business. So you are getting this, and then you're getting these two yarns. One is from Knit Picks Palettes, and then this is from Evil Little Goats. And Evil Little Goats is no longer, oh, that's gorgeous. I don't know. Do I keep it? Do I give it? I'll give it. But this is yours. So if you will let me know your address, I will get this sent out to you. And then the next one is Sarah May. Now these are your um, YouTube names. I don't know your Instagram name. So if you will, please again, reach out to me. Sarah May, you have this uh, cute, polka dot bag. It's a Della Q bag. And then I also had this that kind of goes with it. It's a needle cozy that I thought, well, I'm, I've got so many needle cozies. I'm going to stick that in there with it. And I want to see who made the needle cozy. I know who did, but there's no name on it. I don't, I mean, I don't, it's there, but I, I can't remember the name. Anyway. And then I have two of these Fable prints, um, the Drops Fable yarn for you. So, yes, ladies, if you will get me your addresses, I will get these out in the mail to you soon. And congratulations. Thank you for following me. Um, I know by the answers that you gave that you are actual true followers. 
Now, that was so much fun that I thought, I've got to do this more often. So as I'm going through my stuff, I'm going to be coming up with more giveaways down the road. All right? Do you think maybe it's time for a drink? All right. How about we move into what is out of my bags? I have a new pair of socks off the needles. A new pair of the uh, the the socks that I rave on and on about. They are the um, spiral heel, the, the spiral tube socks that have no heel. So, yeah, these are um, so comfortable, and they are mine. I I was going to make them for my niece, but I really like the yarn. I really like the fit, and I thought I'll make her another pair. So these are mine, and um, I wore them down yesterday, down to the stream, and my husband took some pictures of me wearing them. So I will try to insert them in here, or you'll probably see them on Instagram. But that is another pair that um, would go in my little sock stash. It was fun, this is uh, uh, Regia. And it's got some stretch. The yarn had some stretch to it. So I really, really like these. They feel amazing. And I know, as I've said before, it doesn't look like it would fit much. But they just stretch and feel so good on. If you do not, um, if you have not made the spiral tube socks, you need to, I'll put the, the um, link in the show notes. But you need to make a pair because... They just, you just pick them up and put them on. There's no right, no wrong way um, other than inside out or right side out. There's no right or wrong way to wear them. And they are, a, they are really a great uh, fitting sock. I, I really love them. They're fun to knit. Typically, I'll make them with scrap yarn, but this uh, obviously is not scrap yarn, but it's pretty. So that's out of my bags. Another thing that's out of my bags is something that I've had finished for a while. It's something that I made, I made for my hairdresser about a year ago, two years ago. I started it when she got married. And I worked on it and I worked on it. And I took so long that now the yarn has been discontinued and I'm not finished with the blanket. So, I'm going to show it to you. It is so beautiful. The cables on, on it are so pretty. And you know what? I, I meant to look up the pattern and so I could tell it to you. And again, that's going to have to be in the show notes because I did not look it up. But this feels so awesome. And I do not have any more yarn and I can't get it because it's been discontinued. So when I go in a few weeks to get my hair done, I'm taking her this. This can sit on the back of her sofa, across the bottom of her bed. But it's the best I can do with what, I, is what I've got. I mean, I, I just don't have any more yarn and I can't get any more yarn. So am I showing this the right side? I don't think there. Yes, I am showing you the right side. But isn't that beautiful? It's just so pretty. And I love the yarn, and I don't even remember what yarn it is. But um, I cannot get any more. So that's out of my bag and out the door. I guess if, when I'm going to make somebody something, I just need to make it already and then quit dragging my feet so they get to have what I made them. Just toss it. That's all that's out of my bags. But boy, I've got a lot going on in my bags. So much so that I can't even show it all because we would be here forever. I don't even know. I've, I, when I take a break from podcasting for any length of time, it takes me forever to get started again. And so I don't know how long I've been going because there's so many starts and stops to this thing that it could already be an hour. This says 26 minutes, but I know I've got several minutes, several more minutes on other clips. So, all right. 
So in my bags, in this cute little wellies bag, because it's spring, um, I am I am starting, or I started this cute little summer, I thought it would be summer, it's by Rowan, it's called Glad, and that is the um, picture of what it's going to look like, only in pink, uh, it's not pink, it's orange, the one I'm doing, but I thought that would be a nice summer lightweight um, cardigan, and I'm doing, it's lace weight, and I've had this lace that I bought at Black Mountain Yarn Shop forever, like probably 10 years ago. So I've started, this is going to be the back, and see, I've got to, I've already started the arm decreases. So it won't take me much longer to do the back. Me, how many times have you heard, how many projects in a row have you heard me say, I do not like sweaters that you have to piece together? I know this is the third that I've done in a row, no breaks in between. And it seems like every pattern I pick up that I think I want, it's, I'm going to have to seam it. But... I really like this. I really wanted to use this yarn somehow. And because I've had it forever and I thought this is the perfect pattern for that. Plus, I didn't have enough of this, but I had some of this Cascade Alpaca Lace. And I mean, I think they're close enough that if I do this for the body and these for the this for the sleeves that it's going to it's going to flow. And this lace that I'm using is by Urban Gyps, Urban Gyps <clears throat> Artisan Yarn. And I kid you not, I have had it. Oh, I know. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I've had it for 10 years. And it's Clementine. That's the color. It feels so good to be digging deep into my stash and pulling up yarn that I've had forever. But I, I knew this was a yarn that I loved so much that I knew that someday there would be a project that came along that it would this would tell me that it's what it wanted to be. And I'm glad I hung on to this. And I do not know what's going on with my throat. But hopefully it works itself out. And I'm using my um, Addies. I have not used Addies. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. This is Chalgu's here. Um, I think these are these are not Addies. I, they are. Um, yeah, they are. Oh goodness, I need more than tea. Um, they're Addy Turbo Lace. I really wanted to use my. Um, God, Lord, where's my brain? I wanted to use my colored, uh, my Addy Clicks. They are Addies as well. But la I needed lace tips for this lace weight. So, not my faves. People say they smell, and they do. They smell like metal. But I like the cord, and they are sharp pointed. And they're great needles. So, Glad by Sarah Hatton is what I will be making with that. So that is in my bags. Then what else is in my bags, you ask? Well, let me show you. I have a new grandbaby coming. He will be here. He's scheduled to be here June 15th, unless she goes in earlier. And she had sent me a picture of a blanket that she would like to have for him. And so I tried my best to make the pattern work. Or she didn't have a pattern. She just showed me a picture of a baby wrapped up in a blanket that she liked. And then I came across the corner to corner blanket and it looked, it was almost a dead ringer for what she sent me. So I am over halfway finished of this. Isn't it gorgeous? And the corner to corner blanket, if you haven't crocheted the corner to corner, it gives you the perfectly straight edges of a blanket. And you may not have that problem, but I do. With crochet, 
I have just not learned how to read stitches that well, so my edges are never straight, but the corner to corner blanket, I have straight edges. And I am just so thrilled about that. I I really want to do make my own self a corner to corner. That is beautiful. I want to make myself a corner to corner whenever I get caught up on my blanket making because I've got yarn stashed for blankets. This is, I love this yarn from Hobby Lobby. And we actually have to go over there in the next day or so, so I can get uh, two more skeins. I have, I have enough of this dark, but I need another of the ivory and the, um, this light blue. I can't remember what they call it, but I'm so proud of this. And I cannot wait to see little coal wrapped up in this blanket. So yeah, just Google YouTube corner to corner. They teach you how to do it. It's very, very simple. If I can do it, anyone can do it because I am not a prolific. Pro I am not, oh, what is it I say? Crochet is not my first language. So if I can do it, anyone can do it. That is what's in my bag. And I have loved every every stitch of that. So then I'm also working on, where did I, oh, it's over there. Oh, this is going to be hard on my back. But I have to get it for you because it's so pretty. Okay, this is in my little basket here. And it sits over there by the sofa that's made my back hurt so bad. And this is called the Vintage 1970s Granny Square Blanket. And it is by um, 8 by 6. Her name is Amanda Harrell. And she's on, Inst she's on Instagram as 8 by 6. I cannot remember what the name of her Etsy shop is. And let's see if it's on the pattern. The Etsy shop that I bought the pattern on. The name is... And it's possible. It must be 8, eight by 6 or 80 by 6 because... Usually they say, okay, pattern and photos, 80 by 6. Hmm. 8 by 6. So I will put I will put that in the description as well. But that's the pattern I'm working on. I cannot remember if I started this and if I showed you in the last podcast, the last yurt cast. But this is it. And if these colors do not scream 1970s, I don't know what does. I I'm so in love with this. Again, when I started this, it was going to be for someone. I'm not even going to say who and why I was gifting it to her because she may watch and I don't want to break her heart. But this is mine. I, I, you know, I started, I sat down the other night to work on, I thought, no, I'm going to give this to her because I have a lot of crocheted and knitted blankets that I've made. And the more I worked on it, the more I said, nope. It's mine. I can't give this up. It is so beautiful. And I hope you love it as much as I do because you're going to be seeing a lot of it. Now, Amanda gives you a great tip in her um, pattern. It's a paid for pattern, so I'm not going to share the tip. And I am very pleased with that because I am, again, getting a very straight edged blanket here. It's not wonky in any way. And you know me, I'm a wabi-sabi girl. Wonky doesn't bother me that much. But for some reason with blankets, I like to fold them and I like the corners to meet. So that is important to me with the crocheted blanket. Look at the beauty. And I'm using all um, Stylecraft yarns here, except for one, this color right here, I pulled from Stash and I think it is... Um, I love this yarn, but everything else is from Stylecraft. If you're interested in wanting to know the colors, I can definitely share those with you. But beauty, I'm just, just stare at that. Take a moment. Okay, that's in my bags. 
I'm also working on a pair of socks that I pulled out of hibernation. They have been in this bag forever. And I just thought yesterday, I wanted to start a new pair of socks. And I thought, I've got, I knew that I had two pair on the go. And I thought, okay, I'm not going to let myself start another pair of socks until I have one of these pair gone. So I pulled this one out. And I actually, okay, I actually finished this one sock last night, except for the Kitchener stitch. And I just laid it down and forgot about it. And I didn't, I need to get that done today. But this is something that's been in my, oh goodness. I don't know. If you've been a follower of mine from the beginning, you've seen it. But I don't have my sock blockers over here. This is, um, and this sock fits great. You know the problem? I don't know if it was a pattern. I think it was a hodgepodge. I think I just started knitting. And I don't know what heel this is. I guess it's just the I don't know. So I'm going to start this and knit down to here. And then when I get to the heel, I guess I will just research and see what heel this is. If you think you know, would you please let me know? I mean, I know I can figure it out. But it'd be a lot simpler if I just knew automatically. But it's, you know, it look, I think it'll, I'll like it more in the fall. Right now, it's not doing much for me. But I think I'll like it then. I'm using this yarn. Um, but it's a Regia yarn. So, and then I, for the heels and toes, I'm adding this navy. But, and I think I added these up here because I don't think that's, I'm not seeing an, a solid blue. Probably when I started, I thought I was going to stripe them like that. And then I, 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 nah, I don't like it and just kept going. But that is, those are, that's in my bags. And hopefully I will be able to free up this bag and move on. Then I can cast on another pair of socks. So, I've got other things in my bags, but they're not worth talking about. So, I've got blankets on the go. My nephew, my nephew, my grandy, my boy, my oldest grandson said to his mom, his mom started crocheting another blanket the other night. And he said, would you make me one of those yarny blankets? <laughs> so, I, I told her, I said, well, I have a yarny blanket on the go for him. I just work on a little bit and put it down, work on a little bit and put it down. So I've got to get started on his yarny blanket again so that he can have that. I guess with the new baby coming and everything, he wanted to have something yarny as well. That's it. I want to cast on all the new stuff, but I'm going to finish up this stuff first. Book bag. You want to hear what's in my book bag? You want to hear what's out of my book bag? I've re really been enjoying some books. I'm re I read this one the, in, a, in a book club far away. It was so good. I got this from the Book of the Month Club. And it's a club I'm in. And it, every month, they give you like four or five books to choose from. And they're books that are being debuted. Not necessarily new authors, but new books that have been written that haven't hit the newsstand, the, the bookstores yet. So um, that's where I got this. And it was so good. About three friends uh, down through the years. They were in the military together, three ladies. And they were in a book club, of course, in a book club far away. And it's, I highly recommend it. I had never read Tiff Marcello before, but she, um, she, she wrote that very well. Now, this one is a classic, I understand, and people have read um, her work before, but this was, has been on my bookshelves in the To Be Read. And um, you can't see, but these bookshelves, this shelf right here, and then there's another shelf below it, they, whenever he put these, these shelves up and I started loading them, I could not believe how many books that I had in my to-be-read 
Those two shelves are my to be read books. And I've got some by my bed too. But this by Lois Lowry, Gathering Blue, was a page turner. And I know Lois Lowry, she, all of her books are page turners. But this one was really, really good. And um, she's a yarn dyer. So, or a, a thread dyer, a dyer of threads. So, had that in, well, I'm not a dyer, but I'm, you know, that's in that whole making world. So, that is a very, very good book. Now, ah, just trying to think. I read The Invention of Wings. It was good. No, I didn't read that. I listened to that on Audible. Um, and I think that's all I've listened to on Audible. Right now, what I'm reading is a Mary Kay Andrews book, which, you know, are great beach reads, great summer reads. And this is called The Weekender. And I'm loving it because it's taking place right now during uh, the Memorial Day weekend. And I like reading books that are kind of fitting the time of the year that you're actually in. But I like this. And of course, you know, it's a lighthearted, um, easy read. So that's what's in my book bag. Check those out if you're looking for something good. All right. Something else I've got to show you that I'm doing. So, so many of you or several of you reached out to me and told me how to start my cross stitch. Remember I was saying, any pointers you can give me, I would appreciate it. And so many of you said you start in the middle. And I did remember that from uh, my the one or two only cross stitches I had ever done. But this one I have been working on. I actually took this with me on my trip to Vegas, that and the socks. And that's all I took. And so I worked on those the whole time. And this is... Um, Miss Bingsley's Library, and this is what it's going to look like. And this is how much I've got done. And let me take it out of the frame so it'll show up a little better. I don't have a lot done, but I have enough that I'm proud of. I've got the roof, and I've got the smoke coming out of the roof. So we're getting there slowly. And if you'll remember, um, Treehouse Fiber Arts is where I got this kit. And she puts great kits together. So, check her out. So, you will, um, if, if you don't, you know, if you don't have the time to put a kit together or you don't have the, the like me, I don't have any, any place around here that I, I would have to order everything online. Because there's no place around here that sells this. But ordering online, let me show you what I ordered. Uh, Lori, if you follow <clears throat> Lori Graham, on Lori Times 5 on Instagram, she posted this on our Anne with an email. And I gasped and went immediately, well, I asked her how to get it and went to immediately to the website called creativepoppy.com. And I ordered this. It's called Anne. And she's after the character of the book, and with an E. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. If you go to Lori's feed, you will see it's so much prettier in real life than it is here. Um, I'm going to start that. Maybe even before I start this. But I have to get the, I have to gather all the, the, the thread. Is that what you call cross stitch? Is it thread? Um, but I have to gather all of that before I can get started. But, oh, isn't that gorgeous? So this is another little oh, I, habit. I almost said habit. What I meant to say was hobby, not habit. Habit sounds bad. Hobby sounds like it is a giving uh, necessary thing, you know, for the home. So I have another hobby and uh, another rabbit tra trail to dive down. Not to mention all the gardening that I'm doing. I'm outside every day. I am so into the herbs. I have been picking the dandelions and red clover and making my tea with it. Oh my goodness. I am so 
excited about that. I'm really going to study teas now and learn how to make my own. This mountain grows so much wild herbs and flowers that can be used um, and how healthy for you. So that's my new big adventure that's going to be getting started. I want to learn how to use all this stuff that I've been given. So I haven't gotten my husband to drink it yet. I don't think he's really feels that it's that safe. He doesn't feel that I know enough of what I'm doing. But what I am ingesting, I have researched. So I know it's okay. Um, but I, oh, I, I'm just absolutely loving that. All right. I want to make sure that I have, um, covered everything. I think I have. I'm looking around. I think that's it for today. Thank you for hanging in there with me. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for showing up. Um, a podcast. I, people are always asking me what podcasts I watch. One that I newly discovered, and I know it's it's not because they're new, uh, because they aren't, but um, needle at the needles at the ready. And they are Ray and Kevin from Connecticut. I love their podcast. And let me tell you why. I, I'm always struggling with things to knit for my husband. And they have great taste. And I feel like, oh, okay. Now I've got men who I, I like what they're knitting. And they can help guide me and steer me into some things to knit for my husband. So I am really enjoying that podcast. You can tell them I sent you, but they're going to say, who the hell is Ruby Moss Cottage? I'm just a blip on the radar screen, screen radar screen, but tell them anyway. Um, so yeah, I've really been enjoying that. And of course I'm watching Linda Vodder, which is a gardening one. And I mean, that's the one I'm so obsessed with and the one I, I watch the most, but that is, is all one thing that's out of my bag i'm just looking into my kitchen and see bunting that uh i i crocheted some bunting that uh chris from uh chris made this on instagram inspired me to make um and i will add her uh, her uh, instagram name below because you will want to follow her on instagram she is a crochet guru and she's so sweet and so talented and I love the color choices and everything that she does so that I'm going to put a picture in here this bunting is um inspired by Chris made this and uh I did use um style craft yarn on that um that's all I feel like I have rambled and my mouth has not stopped for uh, however long, and I feel like well, we're up to 50 minutes here, and I know I've got more to add, and I feel like it has desperately been rambling. I hope I've breathed. I hope I haven't driven you absolutely crazy. I hope I haven't said so and but and so much fun too much. That's all. Before I meet you again, I hope that my grandbaby's here because, well, this weekend is Memorial Day weekend and we're here. We were going to go to West Virginia to be with family. It was a real, something really important going on, but my husband got sick and we're afraid to take anything to his parents who his dad has not been feeling well. And so we just want to be safe and you know, since we've been gone so long, we just want to, thought we would just hunker down here for a while. Um, we have been going out, you know, like to the creek bank, sitting along the river, out in nature. But we've tried to not be around people as much. Um, just until it runs its course and we know it's safe to for him to get back out there. Um, so we're all alone here, but the good thing is we are huge Yellowstone fans and they're having a marathon this weekend and we've decided that he's going to make pepperoni rolls, which if you are from West Virginia, Pittsburgh, any place around that area, you know what pepperoni rolls are. He's going to make pepperoni rolls and we are going to sit and we are going to watch Yellowstone all weekend long. Now I'm going to have to move this chair on this way because I cannot sit on that sofa all week long or I will be 
bed bound because living up here, I haven't found a chiropractor yet that I like either. Well, I haven't even found one. It's not even one that I've liked and I haven't even found one. I haven't looked for one, but, um, you know, if I was in Charlotte, I know exactly who I'd go to. I miss my chiropractor. And other than that, I'm home until the baby's here. So maybe I'll podcast before I go to Charlotte for the baby. Maybe I won't. But if I see you again, then you'll know it. And if I don't, I'll be back with all the baby news. So keep making your Anne with an email projects. Keep posting them. Um, enjoy summer as it we're, I guess, the last days of spring or the last month of spring heading into summer. If you may be heading into winter, um, oh, lucky you, I, I, I miss winter, but I am enjoying the, sp the spring and the summer too. It doesn't get that hot up here, so I'm good. But um, that's all. So thank you, please, please subscribe. Please tell your friends, word of mouth is the absolute best publicity. So please tell people to watch, to subscribe, and um, talk to me below in the comments. I love that. And then we will get together again soon. And just remember that in all you do, take it one stitch at a time. Now I'm gonna go turn that air on. <sighs>